Joining us now with more, former 2016 Republican presidential candidate, former Texas Governor Rick Perry. You know, Governor, um, I have often applauded the jo job creation in your state of Texas while you were governor. If we didn't include nationally the jobs created in Texas, there would have been net negative job growth in Obama's term in office. How do you turn this around? What did you think of Trump's speech, and how do you compare it to the last eight years? Well, it was spot on, and uh, it was also simplistic, and I think that's really important. Uh, for almost 14 years, from 2001 through 2014, there was a, an experiment, if you will, uh, the 12th largest economy in the world put tax policy into place, regulatory policies into place, public school policies into place, legal policies into place, and it exploded. And I'm talking about the state of Texas. It exploded job creation-wise all across the sector, whether you were African-American, whether you were Hispanic, whether you were in the lower uh, economic uh, sector, or whether you were at the top, you saw improvement. Uh, and that occurred because of competition. Uh, we competed with these other 50 laboratories of, of innovation out there, the other states, and we won, and we won because we put tax policy, regulatory policy, doing exactly what uh, Donald Trump is talking about doing, where America becomes a competitive place again. Y y all of that money that's offshore will flood back in here. Uh, when you put a tax policy into place that is not confiscatory, as you call it, and you're absolutely correct with that. So, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is a beautiful you know, song it, for the people that want to create jobs in this country. You know, he pointed out something that I have often pointed out in New York, about 60 cents. If you add federal taxes, FICA taxes, state taxes, I live in the second highest property tax county in the country in New York. You add it all together, sales taxes and other hidden taxes, it's a, over 60 cents out of every dollar I make goes to government. Donald Trump yeah. pointed out today that the average person pays 31.5% of their wages to income and payroll taxes. You add local and state taxes, that's another 10%. And the business tax rate is near 40% when you add in taxes at the state level, which makes the United States the highest business tax rate among major industrialized countries in the world. No, if I was a multinational corporation, I wouldn't bring money here, would you? No, sir, and they're not. That's one of the reasons we see the offshoring that's occurring is because we're holding them up and, and they know that they can't have a return on their investment. Wouldn't it be great, I think Americans uh, agree, that wouldn't it be great to have a president of the United States who actually put policies into place, devolve power out of Washington, D.C., back to these states and let these states be competitive, and at the international level, send a real message of, listen, if you want to compete, America's fixing to be out there on the playing field with tax policy, regulatory policy. We're going to have public school policies uh, that these states are going to be in charge of that are going to really create a skilled workforce. Yeah. At that particular point in time, America explodes economically. Governor, I contend that corporations don't pay taxes. Corporations pass those taxes on to we, the consumer. You're absolutely correct. So the, the, the highest tax corporate rate, highest corporate tax rates in the world means we, the consumer, are paying that much more for the goods and services that we buy, correct? Well, we drive these companies offshore. I mean, listen, they, they have a bottom line. And, and look at what happened in California. We went and recruited businesses out of California and other states, too. But California was where the fishing was the best, uh, and you fish where the fish are. So uh, when you overtax, overregulate, and overlitigate, guess what? Yeah. Uh, they're going to look for places to go, and that's exactly what Donald Trump's done. When you add the military side of this and building this military back up and securing this country, when economics, military, securing the border, securing this country. That's what Americans are looking you know, forward to. Donald Trump talked about 2,000 new regulations since Obama's been president. I used to see you a lot in New York. You came to New York, and Rick Scott came to New York, and Bobby Jindal came to New York, because you were stealing New York businesses and saying there's a better economic climate down in Texas. How many businesses did you, were you able to persuade to move down there? Well, there were a lot. Uh, I don't know what the exact number is, but during uh, one period of time, Texas created more jobs, and it was like a four- or five-year period of time. Texas created more jobs than the rest of the country combined. Uh, it by can the way, I give you credit. That's country. very clever. Come to my state. You're helping your state, and you're also helping the companies out because they're all saving money. And if we would well, do that nationally, also, we'd all make money. 
but you're also helping this country, and that's what this is really all about. Yes, it is. Uh, you know, Hillary Clinton is about four more years of this stagnant economy that Barack Obama has put into place. Uh, I mean, he doesn't know how to create jobs because he's never created one in his life. All I right, think I it's time to have a president of the United States that understands how to do this. All right, Governor, good to see you. Thank you. Congratulations on that great success story.